it's a lovely day for a little walk along the uh, the canal here in the Cotswolds and um, but what we're going to do is we're going to have a little look at some um, recycled plastic in proper action in a marine environment when we um, we'll look at these locks here the construction of this gate is made of recycled plastic the actual the the slats there and on that side it's made of wood and that's the wooden side and there we've got a few sort of little cracks and splits starting and then here we go now you can see already fact is that there's much less kind of algal growth or anything like that you know sure it's trying to kind of climb up out of the water a little bit but it doesn't really get beyond it so let's go and have a chat with Ron and see what he has to say Okay, now I'm here with Ron, who's the construction manager, is that correct, for yep. the Cotswold? I'm Con construction manager for the Cotswold Canal Trust. I'm responsible for running the Western Depot, which is at Eastington in Gloucestershire. Great, and the, um, we've just been, I've just been up to have a look at the, um, the a, a couple of lock gates up there, and um, you obviously, uh, it, was it your decision to use recycled plastic? Yes, it was it? my decision your to... Um, use the recycled plastic. It was referred to us by our CEO, Ken Bergin, um, who spoke to the contractors and asked them to sort it out with me what we're going to do and how we're going to do it. So our first lock at Blunder Lock, yeah. we decided to try the plastic planks on the gate itself. And how's that turned out for you? Um, that turned out really well. The first one we put in, uh, we had two gates. One was plastic uh, planks, one was wooden planks. Mm -hmm been out of water for quite some time as soon as we put it in and loaded the water in um, the plastic planks didn't leak the wood ones did until they expanded and swelled up right um, but since then we've had no trouble with the plastic ones at all and um, what was the, uh, the the part of the other lock that you used well we then? decided up at Newtown lock to try putting plastic paddles in and see how they performed. And what's the significance of the paddles there? Are there is that a point of maximum strength then or something? It's or? got to be maximum strength, it's got to be able to take the pressure um, of water because when you've got a whole pound as they call it behind you, mm. which is the distance from one lock to the next lock, that pressure of water coming down, those paddles have to, have to be able to be raised and lowered to fill the lock mm. every time the lock is empty when a boat goes through and goes down through the lock. So it's thousands um, of pounds, well, thousands of tons of pressure, I suppose. Tons of pressure, yeah. And yeah. um, we decided to give the plastic ones a try, but what I said was I wanted to use stainless steel as well as the plastic, mm. so that should um, they go in, we would not have to take them out and replace steel that's rusted and corroded, or galvanised steel that gets a little pitting in it, it then mm. starts corroding and rusting, and it goes. So that, that, that if you're going to use a material like the plastic that's going to last for, for, for decades... It's going to last decades and decades. You might as well use stainless steel, which is going to last just as long as the plastic will. Yeah. And you won't have problems with bolts rusting through. Mm. Uh, because we've had it before where the con rod has fallen off of the paddle. Right. Because it's corroded through and rusted through. Us using stainless will actually mm. stop that happening. So really, the, 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 the moral of the story is, yes, the, the plastic is good and durable, but only if you've got the right fixings as well. You've got to have the right fixing. We used all stainless steel studding mm. and bolts into the uh, chamber wall. We used stainless steel bolts to bolt the frames together. And the existing framework, when we fitted that, we had to put exactly the same again, stainless steel bolts. And do you think this is something that other canal trusts are likely to, to take on board with the, with the plastic so. and the stainless steel? Yeah, I think they should. Because if they take the plastic and stainless steel on, hmm. then once they've done them, they're never going to have to change them again. So it's just maintenance basically, yeah. isn't it? It just gets rid of it. All you're maintaining will be your paddle gear above on the jack post is all you'll be maintaining. Because the stainless steel con rod, the stainless steel frame, hmm. Um, you're never going to have to touch again. The plastic you're never going to have to touch because it's not going to deteriorate. Mm. So therefore it's better in, it's in everyone's interest to actually go along with it. Yeah, okay, so for any for any kind of marine environment really, like th those two materials used in conjunction with each I other... I would say would be well worth doing, it would make it beneficial to you mm. and to your organisation to go stainless. Yeah. Thank you very much Ron, much appreciated. You're welcome.